And now we continue with a report on the development of the vaccination campaign and the residents in the municipality of Old Providence. More than 2,045 persons on the island of Old Providence have been vaccinated since Sunday, March 28, when the three COVID vaccination posts were opened in the sections of Batam House, Old Town and Rocky Pine. These vaccination points, which were open on the 28th and the 29th of March, total 634 vaccinations on the first day and 629 on the second for a grand total of 1,263 vaccinations on the first two days. On the third day, the vaccination sites were expanded to the neighborhoods of Mountain, Lazy Hill and Southwest Bay, where they totaled 782 vaccinations. With this, the grand total completed 2,045 vaccinations for the three days of campaign. At the closure of this emission, the authorities have not given today's statistics for the vaccination achievement. However, it was reported that the vaccinations will continue until Sunday in order to inoculate more persons in the municipality. And the construction of the classrooms that will serve as additional educational space for the Bombonamboyaka Educational Centers is progressing in Southwest Bay. These are the first of 37 to be built for the educational institutions. This is how the construction of the first four temporary classrooms for the provision of educational services advances. It's being carried out by the Fund for Financing of Educational Infrastructure under the leadership of the Ministry of Education. Finally, the construction of the temporary classrooms for the island of Old Providence have begun and they are advancing rapidly, starting in the southwest sector in the Bombona School and the construction of the classroom at this institution is advancing rapidly. 707 students of the island will be benefited from 37 classrooms, 35 restrooms and 4 administrative and complementary spaces to guarantee the continuity of the educational services. Las aulas temporales serán distribuidas. The temporary classrooms will be distributed in three groups for the three educational institutions. The Bombona School will have seven temporary classrooms, María Inmaculada School will have 10 temporary classrooms, and the Junín Institution will have 21 temporary classrooms. The goal is for all 37 classrooms to be delivered by the end of May. According to what has been said, these buildings' life expectancy is a minimum of two years. It is estimated that the delivery date for the Bombona classrooms will be April 7th. Then, in two weeks' time, the ones for the Maria Inmaculada School will be delivered. This would be around April 24th. And lastly, the classrooms of the Junín Educational Institution will be delivered around May 24th. Each classroom will have a projected capacity for 30 students. An investment for this project exceeds 3,800 million pesos.